Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I wanted to just start this video with something a little bit different. Just showing you how I created the photo element for my page. I am using the um, Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and um, this is just from the store. It's a, um, what is it, like a negative kind of circle. Um, I've actually put two of those together. And what I've just done is I've just gone to the fill colour and made it black just so it's easier for me to plan. And now I'm going to be resizing my photos to go in here. This is something that I started doing a couple of years ago. It's my hair in review. Um, and so I just take all different selfies and pictures throughout the year which show different hairstyles and different hair colours I've had. So there's not been as much variation in colour maybe this year. Um, but I'm just really showing you what I do. So I'm importing the photos in and then I'm resizing them to fit in with my image here. And I'm just rotating them. Um, I also use the send to the backwards so I can kind of overlay it with that cut file. And so this is just, I'm literally just showing you my process here. And it is fiddly, but I've made a kind of commitment to myself that I want to use my silhouette more. Um, so you're going to be seeing my next three layouts are going to all be using the silhouette. So I'm just trying to, you have to be a little bit more planning involved. But in one way that's good because you can kind of do these more intricate kind of projects. So as you can see here, Again, I'm just right clicking and sending that to the back, and I'm just trying to resize them. They're not perfect at all, um, but as I said, I I'm really happy how this um, layout came out. And as I said, this is quite a simple process. So as you can see, I'm just going through and adding my photos. I'm just going to show you again. So I just end up doing my right click. So I Control C to copy and Control to paste and just do it that way because it's just shortcuts that um, I've learnt. So it's just a case of doing that and I also find going into the tool um, and filling in my shape if I'm doing something like that just makes it a bit easier um, for me to sort out. As I said <laughs> um, it took quite a while to do this um, but I think it's worth it and as I said this is kind of one I do once a year so I don't kind of mind spending a little bit more time on it. But I just wanted to just do this because a couple of people have asked me recently how I resize photos and things. And I do tend to do it more and more in the Silhouette software. Just because you've got that grid and it's so easy to resize things to the right size. So this is it, the final one with all the images in. Um, I just group those together. So you can see I've got two different layers there. I take the cut file off the mat and then I ungroup all of my photos. Of course I don't have a wide format printer so I do just make sure I swap this down to A4 or 8.5 by 11 and then I just move all of those and position them out. Um, when I actually printed it I did just turn it around so I could fit them all on there a little bit better but that is how um, I done it for the shape so I just thought I'd just share that process with you. Um, I know not everyone has the silhouette software but um, I just thought you know, it'd be something interesting and hopefully might have helped a few of you. Okay, so this is now going into the layout. This is my layout for um, my Halo Magpie blog post this month. Um, and as you can see here, I actually ended up cutting out that negative in the middle of my piece of paper. So I knew that I'd be able to mount my whole layout onto the background. As you'll know if you watch my channel, it's my go-to thing. I like to double mount my layouts. Um, I'm using the... Um, is it Sunkiss collection? <laughs> oh my god, I've really got... I've got the bought the collection pack, I'm sure it's Sunkist, um, from um, Basic Grey and so I did cut out all my photos there and stick them in, it did take a long time, well not a long time, it took quite a while and I ended up just backing that on a piece of my mind's eye kind of silver paper. So I've taken a few bits from the cut apart sheet um, I also cut that butterfly out from one of the cards as well and I'm just going to do some quite simple layering, um, of course that photo um, cluster photo block is you know is a very dominant part of the layout um, which I think is good in one way because it works really well with that kind of really bright loud background paper um, as you'll know if you watch my channel um, a lot I do <laughs> really like using bright papers and so when I saw this paper I was like yes this is going to work perfect for that um, and I just love I love all these colours in here so I'm just inking my edges because that's just going to help everything just stand out a little bit and I'm just going to be positioning that down in the bottom um, corner and then just going to be building up my really <laughs> simple cluster. 
and I did just take that one that says awesome stuff and I just cut the arrowhead out using my craft knife and that's just meant that I can actually have it peeking over that photo because I just I wanted something to kind of just connect it to the rest of the layout I didn't want it to just kind of be floating there um, as many of you all know I've kind of embraced circles more and more in 2015 because there was something I always really struggled with um, but yeah I'm kind of really loving using circles elements in my page now so I did get the two sticker sheets that came um, with the Sunkiss collection and basic grey stickers are kind of always very similar you kind of have the same format same shape stickers on each sheet with each collection um, but I like that in a way um, and I said I really like just the colours in this collection and I personally love the kind of distressed effect of basic grey um, I've said it before I used basic grey a lot when I first started scrapbooking and it's kind of like my favourite papers like the first proper scrapbook papers I brought were basic grey and I've just always really really liked them um, I think their collections are probably not as popular now as they used to be but as I said I really I really love this collection and I love the colours and something I will say is the B sides are always brilliant I, you can always find a use for them um, and as I said I even cut out my um, negative circle there that was actually using one of the B sides of the papers as well so again I try to use um, all of the die cuts that I've done for my three layouts for the black bog post were all actually cut from paper not plain cardstock so I did just add this little tag sticker on here and just pulled some gold twine um, and that's from the DIY collection um, from American Crafts and I'm just adding it into um, my tags I did faff around quite a lot I'm going to be honest um, in trying to tie the perfect bow <laughs> I can't tie a perfect bow but we fiddle around and again I just liked adding that little bit of glitz with the gold I just think I don't always put stuff through my tag holes but I think this just needed it just needed something because there was not as much layering as I'd normally do so it did feel a little bit bare for me but yeah I kind of liked it and I didn't mind the fact that there was silver you can't really see it in this but the silver and the bit around the frame that I mounted those photos on is silver glittery so I don't mind silver and gold together I think it works quite well so I'm just adding some gold and teal um, ink over and again both glittery metallic so that ties in on that and <coughs> I'm just using some 3D foam I'm going to stick up this butterfly I'm not a huge fan of butterflies but um, I think it kind of goes with kind of like you know changing transformation ever changing hair colours and styles I think it kind of works quite well and I just like how it looks with the background paper so now I want to put my title on, so again I've gone to, because I brought the collection pack um, uh, the, they come with three different alphas, which I really like, I really love this pink alpha that I'm going to use um, and again because it works with this collection perfectly, but it's a really great size and I want to put my title in the middle of that circle so I'm just pulling off all my letters and sticking them on my hand as I always do and then I'm putting down my title which is the hair review and I said this has been my title for the last two years I think I maybe missed a year but I know I definitely done it in 2012 and I done it last year so and I really like it like I said there's not been mass variations and there is a few wig pictures in there as well um, my wigs are now out of storage so I'm sure they'll be making a few appearances so I'm just going to stick my title in the middle and I'm really happy with how it fits I do fiddle around with it a little bit but I decide not to worry too much. Life's too short to worry about getting your letter sticker straight. I feel it just needs to add something a little bit else and I go for a whole faff of sticking these enamel dots down. Um, I just don't like them. They're really, they're quite like deep, quite thick, chunky enamel dots um, and the colours weren't quite working for me and so I stick them on and I decide to pull them off and in doing that I rip a couple of bits of paper um, as you always do but I, d I tend not to worry about things like that because at the end of the day you can just stick something over and cover it up so I'm gonna just now peel all of them off and stick them back on the sheet and not use them but then going through my sash I haven't used enamel dots for ages 
So I have just then in that bag found some hearts, no, some stars, and these were from Freckled Fawn, I believe, probably a year and a half, two years ago. And I had three pink ones left, and they worked absolutely perfectly. So that is this layout. I hope you like it. Um, and yeah, thanks very much, guys, for watching. Cheers. Bye.